Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome you to episode 46 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn, and uh, we've still got one, one more Beadrix stage to tackle, so I think we'll get that out of the way right now. Mm. By the way, I was checking up on all the other mini games just to be sure that there were no other ones to uh, that I need to finish off, and apparently all of them, there's no, there's no, no more uh, levels that are unlocked right now in any of them, except for this one obviously, but uh... There are a few. I mean, all of them are going to be unlocked. Their next stage will be unlocked when I beat the next level. So, that's going to be fun to do. Like, seriously, all of them. I, maybe this one, too, I, even. I'm not totally sure. Actually, I probably shouldn't waste my time going over there. I probably should waste my time doing this, shouldn't I? Good lord, it's been, for, it's been forever since we've been in this level. I remember I did that stupid thing with the Dig Dug clip when I first went to this level. That was funny. Actually, no, it wasn't funny at all. It sucked. Because I'm not funny at all, man. Oh, boy. I'm pretty sure I don't have it this time. Let's see. Can I dig down through this fast enough? Wow, that takes forever to dig down through. Oh, you gotta go in here? Damn it. Well, let's see if we can scout a little bit ahead anyways. Um, That looks like the end. Almost. Not totally sure about this one. Damn it! I would have had that if I'd had like one more second, or half a second more even. Balls, man. All those close calls in the last episode, and now I'm just missing missing it at the last possible second. Oh, uh, karma, I guess. Or like one of my neighbor's car's license plates says, KARMA! Alright, let's see if we can actually get it this time. What do you say? Uh, go for the mole, don't screw it up like you have been every other time. This is the slow part right here. I hate this part. Alright, uh... I guess we did that reasonably fast. Not fast enough, though. It'll never be fast enough. Alright. Sweet, I'm getting good at that. And navigating this. I just wish you could go faster to this drill thing. It's been a while since you've actually seen this drill thing in, like, an actual level, hasn't it? Damn it. I think I just screwed myself there. And I don't have any more time. I always have 10 seconds right there. That's so annoying to see that. I always have 10 seconds right as I land on top of that stupid box. And I get out of here, and it's just like, Oh, you screwed up. Dude, I missed it by two beads. What the f- <laughs> God, man. Alright, I'll just forget about those guys' uh, beads, or that guy's beads. Fuck, I did that ag No! Oh my god. <laughs> this is horrible, man. What a freaking gong show. And I have to scratch my face. Maybe that'll bring me good luck. Who knows? Maybe I'm like a magical lamp and my cheek is like, oh, you rub that cheek for good luck. Or something. You know how, like, how the genies, you rub their bellies for good luck? You can rub my cheek for good luck. It's a proven fact. Hell yeah. Dude, what the hell was that? That was... <laughs> he didn't have any momentum when he jumped forward, even though I was clearly holding the forward button. Oh well. Alrighty. And we'll dig through here, down. Alright, good, good, good. We're doing good this time. We have a little bit more than 10 seconds on top of this cube, finally. We had like 12 or 11 and a half or something. So, if my estimations are correct, we should have it this time if we don't screw it up right at the end here. Yeah, buddy, now we got it by two beads that time. Ha ha! Remember the time when I missed it by two beads and how stupid that was? Well, I got it by two beads this time. Which is still really stupid, because two is a stupid number. Dude, what the frick? Frack! <laughs> She's got another one to do this. Well, we're just going to be doing Beadrix this whole video or something, I guess. I don't know, I'm going to have to cut out a lot of that, probably. Ew! What is that? That's like the freaking Coraline fabric. Oh, stone wall. <laughs> Same difference. It, it reminds me of, like, the button eyes of Coraline. Is that her name, Coraline? I don't know. Evergreen Lift. This was a reasonably uh, challenging level to begin with. And now let's see uh, what our challenge here is. 280 beads in a minute. Got a quite a long time to do this. These ones are kind of annoying, too, when, with, like, the long time limits, because uh, then you know, like, if you fail, then you're probably not going to fail until, like, way into it, and then you're just, like, going to have to redo it all again, and it can take forever. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at these beads appearing all slow-like. Oh, that was stupid. No, get that bead! You're not going to miss any of them. It's a 100% bead run, you know? Well, I guess not, because I'm not killing these enemies worth- Oh, crap. That guy. Gotcha! Ha-ha! Dummy! 
Wait, no, I can't get back up the fro oh, no. I think I got most of his beads. But is most enough? Or do I need all of them? Probably need all of them. Crap. Man, this there's bees everywhere in this. I don't know how they want you to go about this, really. This is crazy. I'm gonna be like over a almost a hundred beads short here. Damn, man. I gotta really pick up my game on this one, I guess. Jeez. Ah, oh, there's no way, man. No freaking way, especially not if you're doing that. What? Is, what the hell? Oh my god, I got. I didn't even know I got hit by at the last second there. It was probably a fireball where it's like the butt of the fireball is probably like just a pixel away from being off screen, and that's what I hit or something. I don't have it this time, but oh, oh shit! No, if I if I if I just jumped straight up there, then I would have had it. I think by like half a second. Good lord, man! I need to get oh, I need to get my head in the game here if I want to win this. Well, there's no way I'm doing the next level in this video. That's for damn sure. This is just gonna be a fail montage of a video. If I have the gusto to edit it into such a thing. Which I might not. But I hopefully will. Because that'll be funny if I can. Okay. Get that. And throw it at him. Yes. That was beautiful. That was beautimous. And we got all the beads that we could there. Every last freaking one. So we're a hundred percent of beads so far. I'm gonna line this up. Get you. No, you get back here. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. No, don't get crushed now. That's, a, that's the worst place you could find yourself in. Whoa! Okay. Thank God, man. I thought I'd screwed that up or something royal there. Screwed it up something fierce, you know. Where's the stupid thing that I wind? Oh, it was like inside the star. I was looking for the thing that you like wind up to keep this thing going, because I need to probably do that again right now. Uh... I drop. Wait, I did it! Oh my god! I was so concentrating getting to the top here to get those two last big beads that I didn't realize how close I actually was to winning. Not bad. Oh my f- <laughs> She's just relentless with these mini games. She's like, oh, have another. You know, Oliver Twist wouldn't complain at all around here. Holiday trees fabric. That looks really tacky. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not the holidays anymore. Well, I guess it's almost Easter. It's just the wrong holiday. Moon base. Five stars. 350 beads in 50 seconds. Oh my good gravy. What is that? That's seven beads per second at least. Shoot. How am I supposed to get up there to get that? That's ridiculous. Is there moon gravity? Oh my god, if there is. Holy crap. Dude, there is. What the hell? <laughs> this is... Oh no. They did... This is horrible. How... This is just diabolical now. You know, I, I kept seeing these people in like, comments saying, like, oh, these minigames are so fierce. And I was like, dude, well, they're not so bad. But no! <laughs> now I can see the true evil that lurks in these minigames. Alright. Can I, like, actually grab these meteorites? I don't think I can. No, I can't. So I just have to avoid them. Which is really easier said than done when you react so much slower than you normally do. Oh, I think I messed that up, because I... Yeah, I totally did. Because there's a finite amount of beads, and if you let any of them disappear after you get hit, then you're pretty much screwed. I think that's the way it's going to work here. So this is literally a perfect run of beads. Good God Almighty. Alright, it's fine if you hit a meteorite, like, before you get any beads. That much I can... Oh, shoot. Dude, no! Okay. I'm not sure if you have to get all the beads or not. I certainly hope not. Because look at this shoddy performance right here. You know, shoddy performance. Oh boy. Alright, looking good. Looking good. Uh, I'm gonna jump here to try and avoid that. Oh god. <laughs> That's, that just skinned... That that, all, that meteor should have had me by the skin of my head. By the brim of my hat, you know. Oh boy. Uh, no, crap! Get that star back. No, frick, no. Dude, I just got royally screwed. I think I would... Uh, oh, maybe. No. Oh, God. Oh, 346! Are you free? <laughs> no! Four beads short, man. Four beads. If I had gone and just taken the time to get that last big bead, which le I let disappear stupidly. Damn it. 
Oh, holy crap, dude. This is, like, the worst thing ever. It's actually really fun, though. I kind of like this one. It's nice that they actually give you, like, finally something challenging in a Kirby game. Like, seriously. <laughs> it took them to this point, but here we are. I, well, I don't know. There's been other challenging things in Kirby games, I suppose. Like, those freaking... What are they? The Zero fights or whatever they are. I forget. And I'm sure there's a lot of things in other Kirby games that I just haven't played, right? Because I haven't played every Kirby game in the world. Not nearly. Oh my god. I bet the big ones take away more beads from you too, don't they? Knowing the game designers, that's probably how they would make it work. Okay, I just... What? I must have let a lot of beads disappear or something, because I'm 12 short here. Well, this is ridiculous. Okay, time to start over. Balls, man. That's the worst thing, is when you know that you've lost. Like, there's not even a slim chance in hell that you can win. Because the, the freaking beads disappeared. Alright, no way. I know, I saw this, how many beads disappeared on the ground over there, and I was just like, well, that's... Th I lost. Jeez. Might as well not even continue, you know? I mean, what's the point in continuing if you know you're going to lose, ultimately? Yeah, all you're doing is hoping for a miracle. And in this, uh... In this eater be eaten world miracles are pretty hard to come by oh boy they do happen though so as we might see here if I managed to win this that should have hit me I should have hit my big toe right there I get that the parachute is actually really useful because like if you get the parachute off in this moon gravity then you get like you like move completely horizontally almost you go down at like one at like a one degree angle okay get all the big beads. I think I can salvage this. Should be able to. Yes! Nice! Ha <laughs> ha! Now you can hit me. I don't even care. Boom! What? I went right through it. <laughs> I think I did anyways. That was nuts. Alright, finally. Jeez. That was the last of her minigames for now. Are you all caught up now, Mara? Wow, I'm on a stupid boat with a stupid hat. Ooh, that's kind of cool. It is the planetarium fabric. For a minute, I thought that said phantasmo fabric. That would have been silly. Well, let's see. Clear her huh? to play this. 1,200 beads in a minute 20? Oh my god, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fun as hell, man. Well, I'm up to like 20 minutes here, almost. Um, you know what? I think I'm just gonna keep going and just like split this wherever it splits into two videos. Cause I want to get, I want to at least get one level done in this recording. It would be silly not to.